Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. As the title says, this was a spring job that I went on and we found this old house, or the old house was there. This is what the spring actually fed. And uh, landowner right there, he's been in construction his whole life. And it's the foundation, everything's made out of cement blocks. So he said it's after the mid-late 60s before this thing was built. But what that square is in the back corner is their water cistern and their little refrigerator that they had back then. And I'm going to just kind of show you the original parts of this property that Mr. Danny owns. And um, i like to thank Mr. Danny for the pictures in the video. He sent them to me when I was there working. I meant to film it and forgot about it. But I want to show you how they did it back then because a lot of people are trying to do it right now. Well, way back when, this is where the original spring was. And I don't know when exactly, of course, they bricked it all up. But this is what we redid in a different video, replaced all that. But it was bricked up, solid rock on the left-hand side, the back and the bottom. So they bricked up the right-hand side and the front of which we knocked down. You can see the water still coming out of it. So I have no idea when this was all done, but this is what actually fed that original homestead down there um, and fed their water cistern and their little refrigerator box that they have in the bottom corner of the basement. Once again, I'd like to thank Mr. Danny for taking this video for me, but it started there at the spring house and somebody back in them days, I guess that's why you had a bunch of children, because it must be close to 800 feet all the way down this hill for gravity feed water to the old house site. And I guess that's what the kids were for back then. But he uh, came all the way down this trail. It is put in with black poly pipe. I'll have to do some research and try to figure out when black poly pipe started coming into the world. Uh, I know from the farm, I mean, where I was raised, it had black poly pipe in there in the 60s, so I don't quite remember when it started. I'd have to figure it out, but it had to be the advent of plastic anyhow. But here's some charred remains of the old property and the old homestead that he purchased. And, of course, right there, I mean, a little tiny foundation had two chimneys, one on either end. And, uh, but it came all the way down this way. Somebody's been scavenging blocks over the year. But this is a poured concrete cistern. And I guess they were modern. They had running water in the house. But, of course, it's got a drain in the bottom. And then, uh... On the, there's the overflow, or there's the overflow pipe inside the tank, and of course it went to the pipe on the outside of the box. So they were probably, and then the streams back in front of the house, so they undoubtedly had the overflow pipe going back to the stream so it wouldn't make a giant mess all the time. But anyhow, there it is. I wanted to show this to you. I just hadn't seen one in somebody's house. I've got one at the place I need to film one day. Ours, the water comes in and actually has pipes around the whole top edge with holes drilled in it so it pours down on the side of it to keep it cooler. But you would have 50-degree water coming into your cistern box. They would have had, we had at the farm for the old dairy farm had blocks sitting in there they used to put milk cans in but uh you would have cement blocks or rocks sitting in there so things like butter and all that could be sitting just barely in the water of course this would have had a lid over it to keep the critters out and everything else but uh with 50 degree water coming in of course back then and there they didn't have a whole lot of leftovers everything was kind of cooked for what they needed to eat of course there was no tupperware and all back then so but this does give you an idea if you have a spring running you can do this with uh, the overflow coming out of the tank and make yourself a spring-fed refrigerator if i can ever be a help to you it's what we do here at carolina homestead planner but as usual like it share it subscribe tell your friends about it i'll catch you on the next one thank you for watching